I'm not the right leader for this council anymore. And I'm, I'm concerned where the city is going. And then he was done, as now Clearwater Mayor Frank Hibbard resigned during this morning strategic planning workshop. Speaking to us by phone today, he pointed to what he calls reckless spending by council. 10 Tampa Bay's Molly Crankin spoke with city council members and employees about the unexpected resignation. This is probably one of the toughest things I've ever done in my entire life. This wasn't on the agenda. But I know it's right. Frank Hibbard has been a part of Clearwater government for more than 20 years. Today, he quit. In good conscience, for my family, for my own health and other things, I can't remain the mayor. Before Mayor Frank Hibbard unexpectedly quit in the middle of a council workshop meeting, he and other council members were in a disagreement over the city's priorities in regard to the upcoming budget. One of the items that appeared to be the tip of the iceberg funding for a new city hall building. And this is something we've been talking about, well, not us personally, but council has been discussing for over 20 years. So I was committed to a new city hall. I think everybody was except the mayor and I'm sorry that he felt that he wasn't a good fit. We spoke with Hibbard after his resignation. He said, quote, there is no graft or anything else. It was a four to one vote forward with what I believe is reckless spending. Clearwater city manager was fired earlier this year and now they have an open seat for mayor. I think that we have a lot of pressure to um, demonstrate that we do have the staff um, and council, appropriate council in place to move things forward. Um, I think today was a good example of that. Um, we took a pause and then and, um, continued forward with our strategic planning process, which is what we need for direction. The city has not decided who will be appointed interim mayor. In Clearwater, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay. Before the work session ended, the city attorney said he'd be reaching out to Hibbard today to discuss how he'd like to handle this transition out of office.